guys! Today I want to show you kind of different tutorials. It's not going to be about cooking as usual, but about craft works. I want to create vintage letters for my video room, but I searched for it and they cost approximately 50 euros per letter, which I feel is kind of expensive. Ooh, I can't find any tutorials, so I used all my engineering and craft skills to show you on how to craft some vintage letter lights, such as so. You will need cardboard letters for the wished labeling. I use my logo as a pop, so give me a. Ooh. Give me a. S. Give me a. Ooh. Give me a. Pow. Give me a. Ooh. Give me a. Pow. A canvas big enough for all your letters to position next to each other. A drill with a number four tip. Hot glue gun. Glue patrols. Some color, a pencil, ruler, a brush, scissors, a chain of lights, and two objects that are 8 centimeters wide. First of all, identify the front side of the letter and measure 4 centimeters from the front of the cardboard letter. Do that step for all your letters. So you have one open side and the other, the one that will show on your canvas. Now you have to measure where you want to mark your light bulbs. For that, I calculated um, the amount of light bulbs that I had on my light chain and that was 50. Since I couldn't distribute it equally, I put on two letters more lights than on the other four. Now drill some holes on your marked spots. Now this is the part where you can color your vintage letters. I painted it with a little bit of acrylic paint, so I just put the really tip of my brush in the paint and went roughly through it with the brush. Um, but you can color them in any color you want. It doesn't really affect the lightning. Now distribute the letters on your canvas and make sure you position them just right. And put some glue on the corners on it and stick it improvised on your canvas so it has a little bit of hold. Because you're going to turn this around really careful and try to touch where you can actually feel where the letters are sticked onto. Then cut it open and stick the canvas sides on the cardboard letters with the hot gun glue because this will prevent that uh, canvas will lose its tension and gives the letters a strong hold. Put two books or anything that is a little bit higher than the canvas and the cardboard letters and put them underneath your canvas so you still have space in order to plug in your light bulbs. Put a little bit of glue on top of it and stick them through and since this is a light chain it goes like a circle I distribute it into two halves so I go in the first half and go around the E and close the circle like so. Congratulations! You successfully built an Asapop light vintage letters. And please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe me on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>